all the nerves kind of come like before the race, I suppose when you kind of sit in the car, you're kind of just focused on what you need to do in the race and everything you need to focus on. Once the lights go out and you're driving, you kind of don't have any space in your head to be nervous, you're just kind of focusing on what you're doing and doing the right job. If you, if you have a big interest in it, you're always going to be nervous if you care about it, so I think everyone on the grid's nervous, but you kind of, in a way, you have to turn kind of the nerves into excitement and not let it like affect your driving as such. Now, I love the kind of pre-race feeling where it's all kind of tense and stuff, but um, yeah, no, it is good. I'm Luke Allen and I'm racing British Ford Formula 4. So yeah, when you're kind of going through the grid and you know you're fast, it's like a really good feeling. You kind of get into the rhythm of stuff and once you're going well, you just have a positive mind frame and you just go better. It's exhilarating. Best feelings I think you'll ever get kind of being on the limit, going around the corner and like pushing your own limits. It feels kind of amazing really. And yeah, that's, I think that's what most people love about motorsport. So from a young age, um, I think about six or five, I started going to the pub with my dad just to watch the Formula One races. I kind of just grew an interest from there. I love the adrenaline. And then when the racing came, I just loved the competitiveness as well. It kind of goes in the order like F4, F3, F2, F1. Um, so we chose the British Championship obviously because it's just over the sea, but it's also one of the most competitive Formula 4 championships in the world. Yeah, it's a good event for anyone to come to really. I mean, we kind of showed them around the paddock and they got to watch the racing and, and a nice food and stuff. So yeah, no, it is, it, the races are really good to go to. There's a lot of different classes along the weekend. Um, and now this year we signed with kind of one of the top teams um, Fortec Motorsport. He's, he has lots of natural speed and lots of natural talent, very promotable. Formula 4 is the first step and then there's Formula 3 and Formula 2 and then Formula 1. So uh, it's the first step of the FIA ladder. You take a lot of things into account and you have to be like really like talkative with your feedback to the engineers so they know what's happening. So like kind of brake balance and weight transfer and the way to the corners and stuff like that. So there's a lot more, which is the kind of science behind the car. So you have to, you have to be even more kind of mentally switched on. And you, I suppose what most people think is just turning a wheel and pushing pedals, but I think um, any racing driver will know that it's a lot more than that. So I always think that uh, we would expect to see him moving up through the, through the, the categories over the next two or three years. Ireland obviously hasn't, had a F1 drive since Eddie Irvine, so that's a long time ago. But I think if we, there's obviously a lot of talent come from Ireland, and I think if we get a few more F1 drivers, then Ireland itself might put a bit more money into motorsport, and we might see a few more drivers coming up. I idolise kind of most people that have been in F1 and on F, in F1 at the moment, because obviously they like work very hard to be there. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a few like greats in the past, like Michael Schumacher, Senna, and Nicky Lauder. I'd like to take parts from each driver to become the best driver I can.